Oh, that it gets me. Okay. All right. Uh, the dot. So here's what we're going to do today. Today and tomorrow are going to be two. Can I, Brian, can you look, please? Put your phone down. Time to, this is our final 50 minutes of the day. Okay, Brian. 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 Ready? Put your, put your phone, everything down. Look and listen, okay? We're gonna read this book. It's a kid's book, right? It's something that you might've read in like first or first grade or kindergarten, but I still love it as an adult. And I know you're going to like it too. And it has, it's connected to the activity we are going to do with this. And it is going to be a following directions activity. Um, but this story is connected to it. So while we're reading it, I want you to think, hmm, what might be the following directions activity that Ms. Strubeck's going to give us that's related to this book, okay? And there will also be three questions that you'll get to choose to answer about what we read today. And like I said, it's a, it's a kindergarten, first grade, like children's book. So it's not gonna be too difficult, okay? But I just posted eight questions in Google Classroom. And you won't have to answer all eight. You just have to choose three of them or four, if you'd like, three or four questions to answer about what we read. And then tomorrow, or maybe at the end of class today, you can get started on the activity. Okay, so here we go. Head, neck, and shoulder check. Everyone looking. I'm going to read The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. Okay, art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Pay attention, there will be questions. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good strong jab. There. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment, well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. There she goes here, signing her name. What do I always make you guys sign when we do it? What do I say? Or what do I say, Arush? You say when we make a drawing, sign your name. Yep, all the artists, all, every artist signs their work. Excellent. And this art teacher did the same thing. The next week, Vashti, Vashti walked into, I'm going to adjust this camera a little bit. There we go. When Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Can you imagine that? Going into art class and seeing your, this big frame, this fancy frame, and your dot that you drew on your teacher's wall? Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow. She discovered that she can make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. That's creative, isn't it? So creative. This is why I always say there's no mistakes in art, right? There are no mistakes. Wow, take a look at this.
At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Can you imagine just a little dot? Huh. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. There's his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said, Please sign it. And that's the end. And this said, he dedicated the author, oh, move the, hand, the author of this book, dedicated this, sorry, dedicated this book to Mr. Matson, my seventh grade math teacher who dared me to make my mark. Okay, and there's another dot. So right now, what I'd like for everyone to do is go into Google Classroom. Okay, I'm going to stop my share and show you here in Google Classroom where I put the questions. Okay, so take a look. You will see it right underneath our to-do list. It says it has a little picture of the book right here. It says the dot reflection it means we're going to think about what we read. So I'm going to click view question. Everybody else should be doing this too. Everyone else should be doing this too. Okay, and let's look at the question. Actually, there's eight questions here. Okay, so give me a thumbs up when you have this open on your screen. And then I'm going to thank you. Thank you. Good, Emmanuel. Brian, are you ready to go? Uh, Arush, can you please start reading uh, at the top here? Choose three. Go ahead, Arouge, yep. You're muted, honey, there you go. Yeah. Oh, it says number one. Well, wait, what read, the, read the top where it says choose three. Choose three questions and answer them in complete sentences. Very good, okay. Now let's go ahead and read through these. Listen, this is how we're going to do it. It's going, here's the order. It's going to go Arouge, Emmanuel, Brian, Eddie. Arouge, Emmanuel, Brian, Eddie, until we get all the way to the bottom. So Arouge, number one, Emmanuel, number two, Brian, number three, Eddie, number four, Arouge, number five, Emmanuel, number six, Brian, number seven, Eddie, number eight. All right, Arouge, start reading question one. Question one. What do you think is the most important method of or team of this story? Okay, number two, Emmanuel. Number two, what's an example of the thing a kid could do last night? Wait. That might? That might make a big difference in someone's life. Explain. Good, number three, Brian. How did Vashi's our teacher encourage her, encourage her. What can you do to encourage others? Good, number four, Eddie. How do you dream for making your mark in the world? What's one small way you can start working on it now? Yeah, well, we're gonna go back to that one, number four, to talk about what it means to make your mark. How about number five, Arush? Number five, have you ever felt the way Vashi did at the beginning of the story? Not necessarily in art class, but in any area of your life. Very good. Number six. Number six, describe the sequence of events that helped Van Vashi discover Vashi? her talents. Very good. Number seven. What do you think the author ended the story with Vashi's asking the boy to sign his wiggly line? Good. And number eight, Eddie. What character tr trite? 
character Trait. traits. Yep, that just Trait. means like what kind of person you are, a character trait, okay? What character traits describe? V v Vashti. Vashti. At the beginning of the story, how would you describe her at the end? Okay, very good. Thank you for reading those. Everyone right now, you have to choose three of these to answer. So type in the chat which numbers you think you're going to do. So everyone take a moment to look through these questions again. And in the chat privately to me, like if the three you want to do are number one, six, and seven, then type one, six, and seven to me in the chat. If you decide you like four of the questions, you wanna answer four of them, show, tell me which four you're going to do. And I can actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna upload this video right now to YouTube so that 